Hey guys, Madcat6655 here bringing you another Minecraft Let's Build tutorial. Today we're going to be working on a 10x10 modern house, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, let's see, what are we going to do today? Let's, let's start here to bring this up by 5. Alright, and then let's go ahead and Hmm. This is a f doing this on the fly, you know, so it's going to be a little different than my usual tutorials. Hmm. Let's bring it right there. Yeah, that looks better. And bring this up by s seven. And then bring this over and connect it. So this is what we should look like so far. And let's bring this up by seven, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring that over. Alright, so this is the front of our house. And let's go ahead and throw some glass down. Oh, and throw some glass down here. Bring this all the way up. Alright, so there we go so far. And then let's build this up by three. Switch back to our wool. And let's make our front door right here. All right. And then bring this up. Put one more. Give that two spaced because we're going to put a window right here. All right, so now let's see what we got going on here. Switch back to our white wool. Let's bring this up from here. And then connect this over here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. All right, and come back here. Let's bring this up even, and then connect it. And then let's bring this up as well to here. And then bring this up and connect this as well. All right. And then bring this across here to here. That way it kind of closes that in. So this is what the front of the house looks like so far. Let's go ahead and cover these as well. That way we don't have any holes in the roof of our porch here. Alright, let's let me think here for a minute. Let me think here for a minute. Let's go ahead and work here. Let's let's put a window here and bring this all the way up to there. Now let's bring some wool, bring that all the way up, cap that off. And since that lines up with that window, let's go ahead and put two windows here. Bring that all the way up as well. Hmm. Now let's see how much space we got left here. Let's do this and that. Bring this window up. Let's fix that time before it gets dark. And then bring this wall all the way up as well. Alright, so this is what the side of the wall looks like. I know it's kind of square. 
And I know you guys don't like it, but only so much you can do with a 10 by 10 lot. Alright, let's see. Let's do this. Bring this up all the way up to the top as well. And then let's do one of my favorite things in the world. Let's make that a corner window and bring this all the way up as well. And bring it up flush with the roof there. Hmm, that doesn't doesn't seem to look right there. No, no, it doesn't. Let's drop this down. That's the one thing about doing one of these builds on the fly is the process of trying to figure out what's going to look good and do it within the time allotted. Usually I will sit and plan these out before I build them. But I know a couple of you guys have asked for me to build a 10 by 10 and I apologize I haven't got to it yet. A lot of things have been pretty busy around my house. So I'm trying to get this done for you guys so that you know I can get the video up for you guys instead of you guys just waiting for me alright so there is that alright that looks good I like that so far hmm. let's go ahead and start working on the ins or a little bit of the a little bit of the pizzazz on the outside. You know what would look real good here? Let's try this real quick. Bring that and that here and then take this this way. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. You guys don't have to do it if you don't like it, but I think it looks good. I like it. And then let's cap this off as well it almost doesn't look right right there I don't know what do you guys think let's see let's just test this theory out we'll put that there for now there we go that, that looks a little better kinda kinda looks weird but I'll work with it and then let's cap these off Oops. And then let's pull up our white wool. Bring that up one more time. And then let's go ahead and throw glass. Actually do it like this. There we go. Drop white wool in here one more time. Drop that. And there. There we go. That way we get a nice little skylight feel to the building. There we go, that looks good. Alright. Let's go ahead and cap this off for right now. Hmm. We'll think of something to do here in a minute for this, but we'll leave that for now. Alright, let's grab ourselves some spruce wood planks. Just for that, and we'll do a cobblestone front porch. And once again, I want to thank you guys for all the comments that you give me. It 
It makes me feel good to know that, you know, people do appreciate my builds. They like it. They're requesting more. And, uh, you know, of course, that makes me feel really good about my builds because I've told you guys before, I do feel a little nervous building these because sometimes I feel like my builds aren't good enough. But you guys have definitely let me know that you do you do like my builds. So, all right, let's grab some doors real quick. Throw those bad boys up. All right, so far so good. Let's see here. Let's build set of stairs here. Let's do a multi-tiered floor plan in here. Let's do half slabs as well. That way we can give the floor underneath this a little bit more breathing room. Oh, no, let's not do that yet. Hmm, that doesn't look right, does it? Eh, we'll work with, oh, we'll work with it, see what happens. Might pull that out and change it. Who knows? Alright, so let's work on this part. Clean this out. Sometimes it makes me wish I had world at it so I could have this all taken care of for you guys so you don't have to watch me dig these out. Hmm. Alright, let's switch to the white wool. Put that there. Let's go ahead and bring our walls down. glass down as well. That's the cobblestone down there just to uh, kind of keep the flow going on that one. Alrighty, let's destroy that because we're going to end up going down one more to make a basement. Let's throw our spruce wood planks down for our floor. So this is what this floor will look like. And then we got up here. We got this floor going on. Let's see, let me take a look at it. See, that's gonna bug me looking at that. Let's yeah, let's do this. There we go. That looks better. Now that doesn't bug me so much. Okay, now let's see. Figure out what we're gonna do with the basement. Alright, there we go. Let me start with that. Let's grab a glass pane or two. Let's bring this up all the way. Up one more. 
And then let's put glass panes there so we got a little barrier so you don't fall down. Oh, sorry for the lag there, guys. Alright. So we got that going on. Have to get to the roof here in a minute. Well, let's do this too so we don't have to deal with it later. Alright. Hmm. Let's see. Let's. You know, we need, we need some sandstone. Let's do the basement. In, oh, and my phone is dying on me. Gotta remember to go plug that bad boy in. And then let's go ahead and do our basement in sandstone with spruce wood planks for oh, for our border here. Just to give us an idea. We'll dig down here. That way we can know if we're going outside our 10 by 10 area. Actually, darn it. I didn't want to do that. Let's put the sandstone here. That way we know if we went too far. Alright. Go back inside the house. Dig this out. Oh, we're probably going to have sand falling all over the place. And there's our sandstone wall. Or not. Alright, yeah, that is our outside wall here. So let's go ahead and cover that back up. sandstone there for now oh nope spruce wood spruce spruce not cobble spruce there we go alright that is our wall now let's dig this stuff out. Yep. We'll figure it out here in a minute. It's the one part I really do not like about building houses is basements. Uh, they are very, very useful, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I personally always have a basement. I just hate digging them out. And usually, like I said, I do a video. When I do a video, I usually have the basement and everything already pre-dug so you guys can see it. Oh, let's see. Maybe we can't do this. Or can we? Let's see. Let's see where that goes. Oh, well, that goes right there. Can't exactly do that now, can we? Alright, so then let's go ahead and put that piece of glass back. Hmm. Let's see. Let's figure this out here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this all taken care of. Maybe I th I think I picked a pretty bad place to build them. Just surrounded by sand. Alright. Clean that out. That is the end of the front porch, which is our wall. So... Yep, see there's our boundary wall right there. And let's do this. 
this. Oop. Actually, you know what? Let's take this down one more. Yeah, this will work out pretty good. There we go. See, now that, that's flush. Go ahead and throw that in. Let's fill in our floor real quick. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Let's throw... Let's see, let's throw that there. Throw another spruce wood plate here. And can we take that? Yes, we can. Let's take that in. One more. Put that there. Cut out this. Alright. You know, I, I, like I said, I feel bad because I feel that I should have already dug the basement out because it definitely makes the videos shorter, I guess you could say. But I'm doing this completely on the fly to try to get you guys the content that you wanted. Alright. Let's do this. Fill those in so that when we go back up and fill the sand in, we're actually... Alright. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and put that there. Let's start figuring out how we're going to do our chests. Let's put one there. Hmm. Do a furnace wall here, maybe? I think we will. And let's put that there. Oops. Let's go ahead and grab furnaces. We don't need the cobblestone. Let's grab our chests. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm talking a little quieter than normal today, guys. My throat is killing me. I think I'm catching that bug that's running around with everybody. Alright. Can we? Probably not. Yeah, that that's the boundary. We can't do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and fill that back up. We can't go past that boundary. So I, I kind of built the basement a little too big. But that's all right. You don't necessarily have to have your basement looking perfect. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's throw a table there. We always need a crafting table. There we go. And let's look at this wall. Pretty simple. Throw in our glowstone. Alright, and then let's do this one as well. Let's throw some sandstone. Wow. I really did pick a pretty bad place to do this in. Throw sandstone there and there, even though that is, do believe that is outside our boundary. I'm just replacing the sand that fell. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Could do it this way. Yeah. Wow, for some reason I have been lagging a lot more than normal lately while playing Minecraft. I haven't changed any of my settings or nothing. Whoa. Alright, let's put that there. 
You know, I mean, as you can see, like, I'm lagging, even though I shouldn't be, and I don't understand it. Alright, then let's grab... Do that. Nope. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Alright, and we need to bring this down as well. There. This is really going to start to aggravate me lagging so much. I do apologize, guys. You know what? Let's 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 build our trash disposal system. All right. Grab a bucket of water. Throw that there. Put those there. Grab a trap door. See, boink. There you go. Trash disposal right there by your furnaces and your crafting table. All right. So here is your basement. I don't think I'm gonna really furnish too much of the house, though. The video could take forever if you do. But. At least do some stuff. I mean, most of the time when I do these builds, I do furnish it. But this way, you guys can get somewhat of an idea of my plan and then turn around and furnish it any way you want. I mean, because honestly, that's, that's the true nature of these builds, it's just to give you guys ideas and then let your imagination run wild yeah that looks good right there let's let's cap our roof off real quick now if you guys have any tips or tricks that might help me solve my lagging issue I would really appreciate it. It would help me out a lot because this is really starting to get annoying. Let's see. Let's do. Let's go here with that and then here. Bring that down. Do we, nope, we're not going to do that. Come up here. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, let's fly up through here. Throw some skylights in. Alright. Let's bring this out here this way. And then drop down grab that and bring this out this way and then let's stagger this down there we go and then let's yeah I cap that actually no let's throw some actual sand there because I think what I'm going to do here is build oh, a small pond a little bit of decoration gotta do something with this space up here make sure we're staying within our 10 by 10 and there we go alright carve that out bring this up Let's put sand there as well. Grab our water bucket again. Fill that up and then let's grab 
some sugar cane. about a lily pad mm, let's throw it right there alright so now we got a nice little look there and then let's fill this up real quick kinda cover all of our issues trying to figure out where our border was Do, do, do get smoke wood here. Bring that out. Build that up. Let's do this. See what this looks like. There we go, that looks good. And then let's do our normal capping of our skylights. And then give her one more look around, make sure we got everything looking good. You know, let's. You know, I told you guys I wasn't really going to do much for it. I was just going to build it and maybe do a video of of uh, furnishing it later. But I got to do that. Just got to do it. I got to throw some vines on it. Kind of break up the monotony there. All right, let's go in here. One more look around to give you guys an idea. Come down here and let's go ahead because that's going to annoy me. Fill these up with glowstone as normal. Should have done that beforehand, but kind of doing this just running. Oh, you know what? We may not be able to put one there. Or we can and just put trap doors over them. There we go. That looks good. That will allow us to have our glowstone under our one port or our one window there. Alright, let's take a look. You know, this is also going to annoy me, but I'm going to fix that real quick. Because you got this one piece right here. So why don't we just bring this this way and kind of kind of make it one continuous loop. There we go. That looks good. All right. Come up here, let's take a look. Looks good. And come up here, you know, maybe make like a bed here or something. A nice seating area right here. Like a kitchen and a dining room table. And of course, I didn't put stairs here. So we'll do that real quick. Grab some more chests because I already thought I was done with them. Alrighty. And I do believe the build in itself is done. Not too bad for just, you know, thinking of it and just throwing it out there, I think. Oh, let's see. This is going to be. 
I don't think there's much we can do with that. I'm gonna just have to leave it like that. I think I think it's alright. You know, if you decide to do something up here, you know, that's all you. But as for the build itself, ladies and gentlemen, it is done. Let's do one more walk around the house while I give my outro. This is MadCat6655 bringing you another Minecraft Let's Build tutorial. Doing a 10 by 10 modern house. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please click the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I will be bringing you more Minecraft videos. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.